Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites. Hope your Ramadan is going well and you are learning something new from the lessons that we are sharing. The lessons of course are from the book 30 Lessons from Those Who Fast, written by Aid al Qarni, which can be downloaded from galamullah.com. Let's read. Page 52. Lesson 11. How does the ear fast? Allah says, Verily thy hearing and sight and heart, all of them, will be called to account for it on Judgment Day. Quran 17 verse 36. The ear is responsible before Allah for what it hears. The righteous people are those who listen carefully to what is said and follow it. And what regret there will be for the one who turned his hearing away from the guidance and closed his eyes from the voice of truth. The ear fasts from listening to obscenities, music and all forms of lewd material. To the righteous, there is an illustrious fast from hearing things that will anger Allah Almighty, both in and out of Ramadan. Many people hampered the limbs that Allah bestowed upon them. Allah confirms this in His Qur'an. And most certainly, we have destined for hell many of the invisible beings and men who have hearts with which they fail to grasp the truth, and eyes with which they fail to see, and ears with which they fail to hear. They are like cattle, nay, they are even less conscious of the right way. It is they, they who are the truly heedless. Quran 17 179. Yes, they have ears, but they do not listen, ponder over, or understand advice. The hearing of many people is completely like the hearing of the cattle no remembrance or reflection, no benefit or advantage. Allah says to them, O dost thou think that most of them listen to thy message and use their reason? Nay, they are but like cattle. Nay, they are even less conscious of the right way. Quran 25 verse 44 Among the people are those who fill their hearing with forbidden sounds and sinful words. They forbid their ears to listen to the noble Quran, that lawful, distinctive and divine audition. Listening to the Quran bears the fruit of faith, guidance, light and prosperity. It fills the heart with wisdom, tranquility, intimacy and contentment. It is a source of protection from the dangerous, deviant and sinful thoughts. Thus, the power of the ears lies in remembrance, beneficial knowledge, good advice, profound manners, remarkable knowledge and good speech. Abi Hatim reported that he once passed by an old woman in Medina and heard her reading the Quran from behind the door. She was crying and repeating the verse, Has there come unto thee the tidings of the overshadowing event? Abi Hatim began to listen and repeat, Yes, it came to me. Yes, it came to me. Allah praised those who perfect the listening to the Quran by pointing out, For when they come to understand what has been bestowed from on high upon this apostle, thou can't see their eyes overflow with tears because they recognize something of the truth. Quran 5 verse 83. They certainly have had the greatest benefit and listened in the best manner. Thus, the ears of those who fast are tuned to hear what is beautiful, while the ears of the foolish are trained to hear falsehood. If the ears of a Muslim allow sinful words to enter, it would wreck the house of the heart, destroy the palace of volition, and corrupt the garden of knowledge. This is how Allah describes these two groups. Yet, whenever a surah of this divine writ is bestowed from on high, some of the deniers of the truth are prone to ask, which of you has this message strengthened in his faith? Now, as for those who have attained to faith, it does strengthen them in their faith, and they rejoice in the glad tidings which God has given them. But as for those in whose hearts is disease, each new message but adds another element of disbelief to the disbelief which they already harbour, and they die while still refusing to acknowledge the truth. Quran 9 verse 124 to 125. 
Listening to the truth increases the heart in steadfastness, on the path of truth. And on the contrary, listening to falsehood leaves traces of falsehood in the heart. It is therefore the duty of every Muslim to praise Allah for the blessing of hearing and also to use it to gain the pleasure of his Lord. Toward this end, the Muslim must engage more in the reading of the Qur'an, studying and attendance of useful lectures and advanced wisdom. The Muslim must save his ear from listening to sin, indecency and all that impedes one on the path of Allah. Almighty Allah says concerning his righteous servants that they turn away from all that is frivolous. Quran 23 verse 3 And whenever they heard frivolous talk, having turned away from it and said, Unto us shall be accounted our deeds, and unto you your deeds. Peace be upon you, but we do not seek out such as are ignorant of the meaning of right and wrong. Quran 28 verse 55. That was the end of today's lesson. Inshallah, please do join us for tomorrow's lesson and do share these lessons with your family and friends and leave a comment, review, rating, wherever you listen. We're on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, and we're also on YouTube as a voice only channel. Please do join our various social media and check out our website at islamicaudiobytes.com. If you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. As always, hope our days are full of blessings. Assalamu alaikum.